Hi, I'm Guy Cook, and this is about how to quickly get podcast episodes done. Yesterday, I showed the episode that had the eight BCT editors for Windows, for Mac, and for online. And today, I'm going to try to piece together the method that I use for doing this. One of the first things I do is to share the Google document so I can get a share link. So the Google document I'm using is the outline for this podcast episode. I click on share, and then anyone with the link is the general access that I chose. Always copy the link and then click done. And at that point, I put it into Notepad++, and that'll look like this. There's the title up at the top. Right there, I highlighted the title. And then the share link, I highlighted that so I can copy and paste it into this website. So the share URL, I create the free login at logodesign.net. I sign in, and then I go to more designs, QR code generator, and I've already put the logo in there. Forgive bill from the chat and then i put in the url that i shared from google documents into this and bazinga there i've now got the clickable scannable qr code right there i'm going to download that and save it and my projects folder for the week that started 417 like so I know I've already done this once to make sure I knew how to do it and there it's saved I then can go to canva.com canva looks like this and I open up the projects folder and then I've got a prompt right here for a project. Now I've already done this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. I go to the project. And there's the graphic that we started the episode with. And right in here, because every element is a separate piece, is where I put in the QR code that I made from logo design. And so I just simply go into uploads and I'll I'll add it in again just so you can see how it easy as cake it is and there's the upload I click right there yep that's the one I want click it once and then drag it to where it needs to be and save it and there I've got that down and I just simply go up here to share download And the 2020B QR code. Oh, no, I w I'm copying this one. My bad. I'm copying the, the full enchilada image. And I say save. And actually, it made a copy because I had done it once before. That's what I started the episode with. Oops on me. I talked about the wave file, but I didn't show how to create the wave file. And that's what I'm about to do now. So you've made the recording, right, with ScreenPal. And then you're going to open it with Audacity, and that'll look like this. Okay, I opened up uh, yesterday's episode because I haven't concluded this recording. And... I got it open in Audacity, and it, at this point, you want to select a little bit of it, do Control A, like that, and that selects the entire document. And then you're going to go to Effect, Volume and Compression, and Normalize, and apply that, okay? And that makes it even statement. Then you go to File, export 
exporters mp3 and you'll need to copy the name right with control C and then I'm going to put a an X in there just so I can keep apples and oranges separate in the same fruit stand. Then once you push that export, you're going to get edit meta tags dialog will come up. And that's when you just say load tags. The tags come up for your artist name, your title of the album, and what year it's going to be. And then in here, you do a control V and paste. Let's make sure we got. the X added in, forgive that. And so, you say, okay, and Virginia, it pulls and completes and records that. Then the next thing we're going to do is to import that into the Adobe Powered Sound Enhancement, and that'll look like this. So then, it's pretty obvious what you hear. Remove the noise and voice recording and speech enhancement, drag and drop the audio, so you're going to upload that mp3 that you just created. And I'm going to pause this while I get that situation set up. Okay, so I've got the mp3, and I imported it into the speech enhancement tool from Adobe, and It'll take a while to percolate. It can take as long as 10 minutes, and I'm not going to expect you to wait that long. So I'll pause this till it's done. Okay, that took a few minutes, and it's enhanced now and available for download. And you can see the little download button right there. So you click on that and save it in your project folder, and then that portion of the video that I made yesterday that tells you how to apply the WAV file to the video you made to ScreenPal, which is a great tool. A Windows recording with ScreenPal, easy as cake. All right? So I'm going to download that and add it to the video. Okay, the, the way that you apply the WAV file to the video, okay, Here's the video we made. And you just go down here to the right side, say edit video. Okay. And that breaks it up in the edit window. And you go up here under the top and, and the audio, where it says narration, click the down arrow and say import WAV file. And Bazinga, it's that easy. There's the file we're going to import. And we say open. And it's done that quick. Then you simply go up here to done editing video and save it as a video file. Hi, this is Guy Cook. And the ways to get a contact with me, well, you can contact me through the guyrcookreport.com or https guyrcook.com. There's a contact form there. Or you can call my new cell phone number, 509-200. 1429. Look forward to talk. Hi. The reason for this section of the video is to remind you to subscribe or at least like. Okay? It's a wrap.